Ever heard of America's plan to nuke the moon? Sounds crazy, right? Well, during the Cold War, it was almost a reality. In the 1950s, the US seriously considered blowing up the moon. Yes, the actual moon, that big glowing circle in the sky. This was a time when America and the Soviet Union were in a global showdown. After the Soviets launched Sputnik in 1957, America needed a bold comeback. Someone in the Pentagon suggested, what if we nuked the moon publicly just to flex? And thus, Project A-119 was born. Project A-119, or a study of lunar research flights, aimed to fire a nuke into space, hit the moon, and create a visible explosion to intimidate the Soviets. Even a young Carl Sagan, future legendary space scientist, was involved. He calculated how the mushroom cloud would look from Earth. They wanted the explosion visible to everyone on Earth. It was less about science and more about cosmic intimidation. But someone asked, what if this backfires? What if we knock the moon off orbit or shower Earth with radioactive moon dust or become the villains in every sci-fi movie ever? So the project was quietly shelved. No nukes were launched. The moon survived. The public didn't know until 2000, when documents were declassified. For decades, nobody knew America once considered nuking the moon. It's both terrifying and impressive. The US thought we could build satellites or threaten the solar system. History isn't just wars and presidents. Sometimes it's a reminder that in the 1950s, the solution to everything was, let's try nuking it.